In Vermintide 2, there are only two types of critical hits, guaranteed and non-guaranteed. And when they are guaranteed, there is usually a requirement that needs to be met before the crits are given, and for the most part, the same applies for its opposer. But how high can you actually push these non-guaranteed critical hits? Or, more accurately, is it possible to have a 100% crit chance without them being guaranteed? Or beyond that, what is the highest crit chance in the game? Now, the unfortunate reality of this question is that since I don't work at Fat Shark, I have no actual idea how crit chance is added together. So in this experiment, we'll just be adding the numbers together. So here we go. So first, similar to last time, we're going to start with what each class provides and then shift over to game modes. Each character in Vermintide 2 is given a default 5% crit chance and a few select careers even get an unlisted 5% crit chance bonus, bumping it up to 10%, adding in in properties, it is reasonable to assume that each career in Vermintide 2 can generate at least 15% natural crit chance. And the only way to see which careers can go higher is through their abilities and talents. And so, after researching every single career in the game, I made this list of every career's maximum crit chance, taking everything into consideration. Next, we have to assemble a team, because just like in my last video, there are certain careers that supply crit chance to their allies. Those careers include the Hunt and Sister of Thorn, each giving 5% respectively, and most notably, the mother-loving Witch Hunter Captain at 30%, totaling out at 40% potential crit chance support. So whoever we pick has to be either a Sienna career or a Barden career. And lucky for us, we don't have to worry about complications this time, as the straightforward choice is the correct choice. That, of course, being Sienna's Pyromancer with critical mass and spirit casting, pushing her chances into the 50s, giving her the highest crit chance in the game. But will it break 100? After taking everything into consideration, we are unfortunately short by 5%, with 55% being Pyromancer and 40% being Team Support. But if you still want to put those pieces together, you want to be within range of a Huntsman and a Witch Hunter Captain while they ult using one of the talents that go to the team, all the while getting off of a fresh Elite slash Special slash Monster kill from Wild Fervor. You will also need a Sister of Thorn, who just got done using one of her Radiances with Inheritance. I have no idea what Radiance even is, to be honest. And finally, you need your Pyromancer to have a red level of Overcharge while running Spirit Casting, which also requires her to be at at least 80% health capacity. And that is how you get the highest crit chance in campaign games. But what about alternative game modes? Well, for starters, Weaves are useless here, as there isn't a mode that increases crit chance. Now, Chaos Wave are a different story. You have a mission complete bonus of 10%, you can still get properties on your melees, but you also have traits that are frankly really crazy. Like an ability that adds a stackable 5% crit chance to your melee every time your hits aren't critical, meaning you can get 100% crit chance if 19 hits in a row aren't critical. Oh, and the odds of that happening are lower than winning the lottery for reference, so yeah, have fun with that. And then you also have a melee trait that can give you up to 50% crit chance just by getting them in rapid succession. Meaning by playing Chaos Wastes, it is technically possible to have a 235% crit chance, which is completely stupid since you only need 100% before it becomes pointless anyway, so...
be to the lady for relief from our wounds. Don't fire! Go! Fabio, where have I gone? We have a door and a chance to leave. 